So Resident Evil Village just dropped for Mac OS Ventura, and you might be seeing this pop up on a lot of content creators on YouTube. So today in this video, I'm going to show you how to actually get that set up. Let's get wild. First, I want to give a shout out to Mr. Mac Rack Gaming, who posted a video about three months ago during the beta regarding how to get this set up. If you are interested in getting this running on your Steam applications, he does a perfect job explaining and some troubleshooting. I'll link that video uh, in the description box below that like button for you guys to check out. Alrighty, so first off, you will need to be on Mac OS Ventura. That's uh, Apple's new operating system for the Macs. If you don't have that, this will not work at all for you. Second thing you wanna do is make sure that the game you wanna run the HUD on is first closed. So let's go ahead and close that and then we'll get right into the tutorial. First thing that you wanna do is go ahead and open up your file explorer. And I'm just gonna drag it right over here. And what you want to do is find the application that you want to run, which for me is going to be Resident Evil Village. And then we want to go to new terminal at folder. That's going to open up a brand new terminal right here. And then from there, we're going to uh, type in a few things to get everything running. So first, what we're going to do and make sure that you are typing this exactly how you see it. I'll go ahead and uh, post the steps in the description box down below all right from there we're going to type in a few things to get everything started so we can get the hud set up for the application uh so let me just pull up my notes here real quick and what we're going to need to do is type in export space mtl underscore hud underscore enabled equals one go ahead and hit enter or return on your keyboard next we're going to type in cd space dot dot hit return or enter on the keyboard again next what we're going to want to do is go back to the applications what i do for this is i select the game that i want i'm going to go ahead and select resident evil village right click and i'm going to copy the application Go back to the terminal, select open, make that lowercase there, space, and then paste in what I just copied. Then I hit enter right there, and there you go. Now we have the performance HUD on our game, so we can kind of see that we're running currently at 30 FPS. And then once we switch it to things like 60 FPS, and we can monitor that to see how well our application is doing. And that is how you get the HUD set up for your application. Keep in mind, you will have to do this every time you actually want to get it set up. So if you close the application, you won't be able to just reopen the application with the HUD. You'll have to go through those steps again. I do plan on doing a video on Resident Evil Village here soon. So stick tuned for that video. But that's all I have to show you for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give the video a like as it helps the channel. And as always, subscribe for more. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Stay wild, gamers. Later.